Rock Fire is just one of several wildfires burning in the eastern part of the state. A little closer to our area, crews are making some progress on the microwave tower fire near Mosier. And this video was sent to us by Fox 12 viewer Stavel Lance. You can see helicopters dropping water on that fire recently. Our own Dylan Scott has been tracking the progress on the fire. And Dylan, I know yesterday the main concern wasn't necessarily the fire itself, but power outages. So have people gotten their power back on since then? Yeah, good evening, Nora, and really the proof is in the power. I'm going to step out of the way and show you that, yes, the power literally just came back on here in Mosier. Residents, businesses have waited about three days to get this power back. Luckily, it is back on really across this town right now, and it really just goes to show you that it doesn't always matter how big a wildfire is. Sometimes it's where it is and what it burns that really causes issues in any community. I think this one was probably the scariest because of the high winds. For many Mosier residents, including Bonnie, who might just have the best view of the microwave tower fire, the last few days have all been a lesson in perseverance. We've been without electricity for three days and without water for a couple of those days with a fire and no water in the whole city. That's kind of scary. In total, about 700 acres have burned on the outskirts of this town of around 500. For this retired teacher and so many others in level two or three evacuation zones for the foreseeable future, preparation has been a hot topic of conversation. It's like, okay, we need to have water that we can drink on hand. And uh, a lot of people are talking generators and, and we need to get generators and, and know how to use those in the houses. and. Um, just being more prepared. Fire crews from across the region continue to battle this blaze on tough hillside terrain with swirling winds continuing on day three. For our structure firefighters to build perimeters around home structures because that's that's kind of our priority because this fire is so integrated into the wildland urban interface and there's a lot of home structures. I think a hundred potentially within level three uh, go now. So we want to make sure that those homes are secured. Officials have been optimistic that while they can't talk containment yet, Pacific Power has been able to work to fix the issues that have kept many here in the dark. How nice will that be to have power back? <laughs> It'll be awesome. I can't wait to have coffee in the morning. And obviously, we had just mentioned it, the power officially back on here in Moser after about three days. The store behind me, the market we featured last night, the lights just came back on along with a lot of the businesses and residences really around this strip downtown. Again, if you still have issues, there are emergency centers, cooling and power centers as well. And for more information, we have all of those details on our website, kptv.com. But for now, some good news in Moser. Dylan Scott, Fox 12 Oregon.